it's that snuggly time of year again, sweater season. <laughs> I love it. I get to wear my fa favorite cuddly sweaters and I have a lot of nail estate to work with from a previous video. And I'm gonna turn them into this. They're actually easy to do once you have the right tips, but there are a few things that can really make it frustrating, but I'm gonna walk us through it. Let's get started. This design can be frustrating. It seems so simple, right? You've seen it, many people doing it on social media where they paint it on really quick and then they dust it and then they dust it off and it's done. <laughs> but it can be frustrating because it doesn't always look like that the first time you try it. It takes a few tries to do it right before it actually works. Because once you put the powder on, depending on what kind of product you're using, it can just mush into a flat looking powdery, dusty design and it doesn't seem to work. So we're gonna start with a color that I've picked. I tried to match my sweater, it's not perfect. It's a little more peachy, but it's really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna start with just a coat of the color. You wanna lay this down first because you're determining the color of the sweater nail you're going to do. This is a long nail. I just could not waste this nail estate. I thought it looked really cool to have it as a sweater nail. And you can do these really short too. They're actually adorable short as well. Okay, and I'm just gonna give it a nuke. And I'm gonna do two coats of that. Now you don't have to be too picky on that coat. It doesn't have to be flawless because you're putting the chunky sweater on top. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a matte coat on. Now you want the matte coat on there. You don't have to, but I like the matte because how many sweaters are shiny? They can be glittery, <laughs> but they're not shiny. I'm gonna share a couple of tips that make this a chunky sweater. I love the chunky sweaters. I'm a true Canadian. Chunky sweaters and like warm slippers and blankets and don't we have a lot of blankets and pillows? Oh yeah. Can't get to the bed at all. It's just so snuggly. You gotta have it. It's gotta be it's gotta be snuggly. It just looks like a pile of pillows. Well to you, yeah. to the trained eye. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, so now we are going to remove that sticky layer because if you don't, powder won't really stick that much to a cured sticky layer. But, um, oopsie. <laughs> but when it's not sticky, you want it to slide off completely. The powder is, right? So when we lay down, you're going to see when we put down our gel, that's making the design for the sweater, we only want the powder to stick to that. Now I have done this with clear gel and it's very, do it with a pigmented gel. Reason being is because when the powder soaks in, you can see the color better and that's the strength that we want. If you do it with a clear gel, you won't get that strong color and we really need that to be because the smaller a line is, the more color pop pigment you want it to have. Because if it doesn't, you lose the intensity of the color, in fact, then you lose the effect of the design. So the best way is to get a sweater and literally look at it. You can even practice it a little bit before you put it down on the nail because you don't want to make the mistakes maybe on a tip or a fake hand instead of your real hand. Otherwise, you got to file it off. So take a sweater and here's my sweater and just let's, let's examine the cable. Let's examine the designs. So we can see there's a nice little thing like this. It goes like this. It'd be easy enough to do. And then there's these straight lines that go next to each other. And then we've got this sort of little chevronish kind of look right here. Looks very, very cool. So we're gonna basically copy that. Okay, so I wanna get my brush saturated. You just wanna kind of roll your brush, get a nice pointy um, art brush, and you wanna saturate it. And then you can sort of draw the lines out to the side a little bit so you don't have it like blooping when you hit the nail. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do it sideways a little. It's gonna be much easier. That's another little tip. 
If you're going to do it long and like, you can do that for sure, but it's harder to do a longer line that steady. So, and it does look really cute on the angle to be totally honest with you. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna get my super detailed glasses because you are actually seeing this better than I see it because the camera's super zoomed in on it. Okay, so I am gonna take my starting point and I'm going to pull the gel color over see that that's my first line okay now gel is a self leveling product so it naturally wants to settle so if you do the whole design painted on the first one you put on is starting to settle so here's a little tip you can do get yourself a little scoop get your powder ready and you can do this right away you want to pour your powder gently on that line and just making sure you're covering every bit of that gel, okay? Now it can take a little longer this way, but less frustrating when you're trying to, especially a long nail like that, when you're trying to design the designs, especially when you're doing a braided look or a chevron, little pieces together. Because when you lay those little pieces down, they can look pretty good at first, but then if you finish the whole nail, you might go back to the first ones you've done and they've rested, they've relaxed a little bit and they've kind of even maybe bled into each other if it's a tight design you're trying to do. So this way will give you, uh, the design will be set and then you can move on and then you won't feel so hurried. And then you just take a little dust brush and you do want to do this before you put any more down to get rid of that residue of dust that's sitting there. So this is cured on here now. This is good to go. It's done. So if you keep doing it this way, you'll be much happier in the end result. Okay, I need the close-up glasses. See, look at that. Way, way better. Now I'm gonna grab some more and I'm just going to do my tiny little lines. can do the same thing. Get a little powder. And then nuke it. That's how easy it is. Give it a little dust. I've got a dotting tool too. You can use a dotting tool. I'm going to do a dotting tool just to do some dots. Now, as you get going at this, you can get much quicker and you can go ahead and just start to do the whole thing. Maybe you can do a couple of designs and then you can powder it up and then nuke it. And then maybe next time you can do three in a row and then four and so on and so on. Just so you get the designs down that you want to do, then you can do it much quicker. As you do anything, it just gets to be much faster and faster. Now, I actually borderline don't like that little line. I just pressed too hard in one spot. And that is the other beauty of curing as you go. You can simply remove this now. I didn't like it, so I can just take it right off without fear of bumping into the other guys and messing them up because they're already cured. So I'm gonna try that line again. I put it too close to the dots. Yep, that's good. I was going to do three in a row, but I forgot to put the other glasses on. That's cute. And then you just keep going at the whole thing until, of course, it's finished.
Okay, so that is finished. It looks really, really cute. I'm really happy with it. And they'll all look gorgeous and I'm going to do them all. But if you want a bit of a deeper look, if you have time and you want to make it a bit of a deeper, it'll be a higher profile, almost more 3D. So I have this one. You can see that and it looks adorable. But I have the thumb that I did do in more of a 3D. So you can see this one. I did layer it, which is I'm going to show you what you can do. And that's just an option if you want a little more of a chunky sweater. And there again is the softer, lower profile. Pretty cute. And then there's more of a chunky. And how we get the chunky is much the same. You can do it another way too. I have two ways you can do it. So let me just top up. I'm using, if anybody wants to know, it is 099 Touch of Blush uh, Gel Color from Coco and Claire. Just going to get a bit more. And if anybody wants to know what I'm wearing on my other hand, which I am in love with, um, it's 347 Latte by Coco and Claire. It's a little baby bottle. Isn't that cute? How could you not love anything baby? I love that. It's adorable. Okay, so all I do is get the same brushes again. And you can do it two ways. You can do it with the gel polish and just layer it up. Or you can actually use like an art gel. It's a little bit thicker and it can help build it a little. Yes, it's going to be clear, but you've already established the color now. And it's really causing more of a shadow, which will give the illusion of depth. So let's just try this. Okay, so I am just going to dot. I'm just going to go over everything again. And being that this is a bit of a thicker gel, it'll build upward. It'll give height to it. Now I've tried this just without doing the color underneath. You got to have the color underneath. It makes a difference. Okay, now I'm going to go over this line. Like I say, it's a little bit thicker, so it'll hold a little bit longer. And then bring in your powder. And then throw it on. Again, you want to make sure you cover everywhere. And then nuke it. And you just do that over and over. And you can even go another layer higher, depending on how chunky you want it. It's all just personal taste. Okay, let's dust off the powder. And you can see, can you see right there? You can see it's got more depth. Now let's do it with the gel polish and show you the diff. It, it'll be a little bit more clear with the clear gel. It just depends on how much color you want. Okay, so now I'm going over with the gel polish. Okay, get that powder on there. And nuke it. And you just keep doing it, doing it, doing it until you've got a sweater that's a little chunkier. Like I say, just personal preference. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. Now I'm going to do this one here, sort of a V-neck sweater, <laughs> getting a little jiggy. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do them. Okay, you know, that looks just adorable. And it's a lower profile, but I did add just a few. Just I went over and made it just a little bit taller in just this one. And I only did it in a couple of sections. I don't know if you can even see that, but you can see it's a little bit stronger in depth, a little bit stronger 3D than this one per se. So I just did this area here and I think this one here. But the rest, this I did not, and I don't think I did here. And this I didn't double up on any of it. So you could leave it. It's totally cute. But I'm just going to double up on a few of them that I feel like are a little lower profile, just to make it look a little bit stronger. 
So I'm just going to make a few just a little bit thicker so we get a little bit more punch and you'll see it in the reveals. Check them out. Adorable. I did add a little depth on just a few, not all of the lines, just a couple, just to give it a little extra pop. So now I have an excuse to wear sweaters and sweater nails. Adorable. If you want to learn how to build the nail to get the nail estate to put these beautiful designs on them, I'll see you in this video.